Good Friday. Why do they call it good? The day that Christ was crucified. I read from John 19, verse 17. And he, bearing his cross, went to a place called the place of a skull, where they crucified him and two others with him one on either side, and Jesus in the center. So many people focus so much on the death and not as much on the resurrection. If you ever get a chance to visit one of those beautiful places, and there are many around the world that have these, gardens where they have the stations of the cross, there was one where the path was well-worn up to the cross where Jesus was crucified. And then, all growing up with weeds, hardly ever traveled, was a path that could hardly be seen with the naked eye. And yet, if you followed it, you would follow to the empty tomb. And that is the important thing. As Christians, we are not children of that first day, of the death and the the disaster that happened, what humanity did to this, this great soul. We're children of the third day. We believe in the resurrected Christ. We believe that he was not held in by that tomb that he rose as he said he was going to. We believe in the appearances, and we believe in him being with us now. That's the message of Good Friday. It was the death of death in the death of Jesus Christ. It is something that we can latch our faith on to in our lives today, no matter how dire the circumstances appear, with God, God will bring the very best to to the outcomes in our life. We just, as Christians, have to hold on, and we'll find that it comes every time. Today on Good Friday, as you go to church, as you hear the message of the death and the cruel crucifixion, also keep in mind the message inside of yourself that he is risen and that he lives and that humanity did not have the last word. God did. Happy Easter.